Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a mini haul. So you guys seem to enjoy the last haul that I did and I'm gonna do the same sort of vibe that I did last time. A mini review on all, well, most of the products that I've got here. There was probably maybe two or three that I haven't actually tried yet, but on all of the rest of the products, I'm gonna let you know my reviews and my thoughts on them because that way I feel like then this video is helpful and I'm not just showing you what I've bought. So as always, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like makeup hauls. I know I do. And just keep watching, really. So I'm gonna start off this haul with two brushes that I recently got. So these are by BH Cosmetics. They are their Pro Studio brushes. And I have number six and number eight here. And one of them is like a flat crease brush and the other is a more pointed defined one and these are so great they were so affordable i feel like they were maybe four or five pound each which is so so affordable for brushes obviously bh are a affordable brand i did purchase these off beauty bay and i think they were out of stock for a time because i found them in the back in stock section and they are so soft they blend out eyeshadow so nicely especially this one the number six is probably my favorite out of the two it just really like it's really good for blending out like the crease especially if you're doing a cut crease and you need to really blend out that sharp line this gets in there because it's just the shape of it like it's flat but it's fluffy and it's just incredible pencil brush is a more of a fluffy one as well this is also really great for blending out the lower lash line as well so i love these two the next thing i haven't actually tried i was supposed to use them out try them today but i just forgot because i filmed this look that i'm wearing i just filmed it now so i forgot to use them but they are the eco tools perfect blender duo sponges so if you watch my videos regularly then you'll know that i just love using sponges beauty blenders my favorite one is my morphe one that i use and I just don't really use brushes to blend out foundation. That's just just personal preference, really. So I'm always on the hunt for trying to find the best sponge. The Morphe one is probably my favourite right now. And I think just finding affordable sponges is great because, you know, beauty blenders are £16 each. Like, for a sponge, that's ridiculous. I can't remember how much these both were. So they come in a set, you get, like, a kind of one that'll be really good for concealer but also like baking powder as well and then you get the foundation one I'm assuming but I think these were like $7.99 for them both which is so affordable still you get two sponges for like £8 and I think it's really really good yeah, like I said I haven't used these yet they do feel quite stiff which worries me a tiny bit but then I feel like the beauty blenders aren't the softest as sponges because I feel like the Morphe one is softer and these feel these do feel more like the the original beauty blenders than any other sponges so I'm excited to try these I'll definitely use them in upcoming videos so you can see them in action but the eco tools I really love eco tools as a brand I think that Brushes are really great. I do have a few of their brushes that I love using all the time. So, yes, I'm really excited to use these. The next product is something I was waiting to get for a few weeks because it kept going out of stock, and it's the Elsie Cosmetics Pearl Radiance Primer. I think I'm pretty sure I recently used this in one of my videos. I think it was the red glitter look, if I'm correct. And I really like this. The first time I tried it, I was like, I don't get it. Like, I, like it didn't do anything to my skin and it's quite pricey it is around the 30 pound mark but Elsie are a high-end brand and you know their bronzer is my favorite i love that thing so much i wanted to try something else and i am a primer fiend as you know so i wanted to try this out but the more i used it the more i liked it because it gives a really really nice glow to the skin but it is quite a tacky primer as well. Maybe you were someone that did want to get this, but you don't want to splurge and spend £30, which is completely understandable. Then the NYX... Oh, I've got it here, actually. The NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer is quite similar. This has probably got a bit more of a glow to it, if that makes sense. Like, this is more of a subtle glow. This is really, really going to illuminate your face, like it says. But I think they are quite similar, so... 
this might be a dupe right here because they both prolong makeup very well as well but this I do actually really like it it's probably not my favorite primer but I do really like it so I'm still gonna try it a bit more and see how it works with other foundations but for like a first impressions and for trying it for about a week I do really really like it next I have a bronzer to share with you the physician's formula sexy booster now that sounds a bit weird but when you actually look at how it's packaged you understand as you can see it's quite like a really lacy packaging I love the packaging I think it's so cute you've got oh you've got a little brush in the back which I'm not gonna use that but oh it's a mirror then underneath that's really handy that that's good for traveling and then it's got like a little heel like accessory going on here and then the bronzer has it's like a 3d bronzer which i think is really cool it's got this body inside and it's gold which is quite nice it looks quite natural and then the obviously the bronzer is all around it i've swirled my brush in and used this it reminds me of the milani bakes bronzers quite a lot and i do really really like it it smells of chocolate like usually physicians formula bronzers smell like hawaii and a tropical holiday this smells like chocolate amazing it's really really nice because sometimes i just like having that subtle glow of a highlight or maybe just a bronzer to kind of set down a cream contour and this is really good for that i do quite like this so i'm definitely going to keep this and keep trying it as well i'm going to talk about a blush that i am in love with and it's the ofra blush in the shade Razor. looking at this and you're probably like that's so dark like it is a very terracotta orangey brown blush but this is so nice i really love it you're never gonna run out of this thing because it's so so pigmented but it just it's probably not the best for like spring or summer but it would be a really nice autumn blush i feel and i do like it because if you're in a rush you can use this as a bronzer as well because of the tone of it but oh my god look at it it's so orangey and bronze and warm and i love it formula of the blushes are really nice they're so soft and creamy and it really blends into your bronzer and everything else that you have on your skin and this is the first Ofra blush I'm I'm trying I only have highlighters of theirs and I was like you know the quality of Ofra highlights are probably the best really that I've ever tried so I thought I would try something else on their brand so I decided to get a blush it wasn't that expensive either I think this was about 10 or 11 pound which is a drugstore price and for the quality of it it's really good so next oh i've got another blush thing to talk about so this is the nip and fab blusher palette and it comes with four really really nice warm pinky peachy shades and i really like this palette i to be honest i probably use these three shades here more than i don't think i've really used this pink one yet it's really nice but it's more like a barbie bright pink and i just i'm not into that for blush but I love mixing these three together and I think on its own this one is my favourite. It's more peachy and it kind of gives me MAC peaches vibes. They all kind of do have this sheen to them. There's no glitter in them though. And I think it's a really good palette to have. The only thing is I feel like I do like them and I think it's really good for a day to day. But I wouldn't recommend wearing these blushes if you're going to go on a night out or if you're just wearing makeup that you want to last forever because... Like, I think this is, like, a well-known thing anyway, but, like, blush does tend to come off quicker than any other makeup products. And I already knew that, but, like, these blushes do not last that long. For maybe you guys, it might not be the best thing to get, but I still do really like it. So, the next thing I got is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Highlighting Palette. It's an amazing shade range. This is about... I want to say the £10 mark. I can't remember off the top of my head completely. I think it's around £10. Might be a bit more or less. I don't know. I can't remember. The shades in here are so creamy. They kind of, they almost feel like Colourpop, like cream formula. Like when you press it, it kind of makes a weird like little indent, which just shows you how creamy and soft that they are. And when you apply them to the skin, they look how they feel in here if that makes sense and when you swatch them on your hands they look really nice and pigmented but then when you also apply them onto the skin they look incredible they last forever and i just really like it i think this palette is really good 
Next up, so I haven't got too many things left. I've just got a few more products. Come on, just stay for a few minutes longer. We can get through it, we can get through it. Next thing is, is a gloss that I have been loving. I have been wearing this thing every single day. I'm not wearing it now, by the way, but I'm obsessed. And it's the L'Oreal Dazzle Glass, I think it's called. It doesn't really say, it just says Dazzle on it. I, I think they're called Dazzle Glasses. I'm not completely sure though. And this one is in the shade Disco Ball. I might be looking at it like, what the heck? That looks like a rose gold colour. But it's like this peachy gold. And because it's a gloss, it's so nice and so shimmery. That I know that sounds like I wouldn't like it. But as a gloss, I love it. And I think it's really, really nice. I love using this every day. I really like the applicator of it as well. It's really different. I don't think I've ever seen an applicator for any lip products like this before. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and give you a close up. But it's like, can you see? Like it looks a bit bent and it looks a bit broken, but it's kind of like a lip. It's like an arrow and a lip combined. It would be a really nice like lip topper. It kind of reminds me of those Jouer ones that, you know, the lip toppers, because like the packaging looks like it, but I've been wearing this alone and it just gives you a really nice gloss and glow to your lips. So yeah, I really like it. It also lasts really long because I've been wearing this to work and by the time I come back, it's still intact on my lips. The last two products are highlighters. So this one isn't actually a highlighter, but I am going to use it as one. It's the Kiko Wet and Dry Eyeshadow and it says it's long lasting and this is in the shade 208. And, oh, it's not broken by the way, that's just how it is. It's kind of like got like a fingerprint indent in it. Like it's, that's just how it is. So I've swatched it and it looks really, really nice. Like look at that. Obviously it's this one, but look at that. Like I can't wait to use this. I'm gonna use it wet as well. I wanna really try it and see if it'll work out as a really nice highlighter. I've seen other people use these as highlighters. So I wanna see for myself if it is good and if I like it. Like I said, I haven't tried this properly on my skin yet, so I can't give you a proper review on it, but I'll end up using it in a video sometime soon. The final product is probably the one that I am most excited about. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter with Amrezy. So it's a collaboration with Anastasia and she's called Amra, I think that's how you say her name. And everyone was raving about this. And to be fair, when I did see ABH launch, launch this, I was like, I want that. You can see that I've got like an indent in here because I've been using it like seriously every single day since I bought it. Like you can, apply this really lightly on your skin and it can look really natural and it won't it seriously won't look like you're wearing a highlighter at all this is probably the most natural and blinding highlight that i own and i know that sounds really strange and kind of impossible frankly but if you just apply a really light hand of it it just looks like the sun has just hit your face and you've got a natural glow i'm not wearing it today by the way so don't think that this is that it's not but it just it looks incredible and it can look really natural but then the more you build it up and the more products you apply it looks so intense but it still doesn't leave a stripe it doesn't look like you just like poured a load of powder on your face it just melts into the skin so like effortlessly and that's what i think makes it worth the 30 pound it also like i feel like i'm getting so excited about this highlight like i'm sorry but it's worth getting excited about after work and I'll look in the mirror and it is still and it will still all be on my face and I just love it so much. Also, what I have noticed about it as well is that as blinding as it is when you apply it, once I use a spray like I usually use my body shop one, once I spray that all over my face to just get rid of any powderiness and then I apply a setting spray over top, it makes it more intense. So... I haven't actually tried this properly, but just using it wet, like putting your brush in here, spraying like a setting spray on it and then applying it, that is probably the key to the most blinding highlight that you can see from space ever because when you set your face, it intensifies it even more. As weird as that sounds, I'm out of breath from talking and I feel like I'm getting a sore throat from how much I've just talked and I feel like I was talking about this for about 20 minutes, so... I apologize. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me in today's makeup haul. Be sure to let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you are going to, especially the Amrezy highlight. I wanna know your thoughts, if you think it's overhyped, if any of you have it. 
let me know, leave me a comment down below. Please thank you for spending this time with me today. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you want more hauls from me. I will always bring you hauls. Like, I love buying makeup hauls will always be a thing on this channel and just remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye this is the physician's formula i don't know what the name of this is oh oh god i can't open it but i love this